Hi, I'm Randy Mason, and here's what's coming up this week in our video journal of arts and amusements. Haywire, a four-member group playing bluegrass music the traditional way. Another indigenous form of American music will be in the spotlight in the Midtown area at the Boulevard Bluegrass Revival. Three days of music at Jimmy's Jigger, 39th and State Line. The host band for the occasion is Haywire, who we're focusing on this week in our Sounds of the Town segment. Starting off with the old Fats Domino tune, I'm Walkin', it's Haywire. decide to start playing bluegrass music they give you a bag of marbles and every time you do something and you fail you you have to give them back one of the marbles <laughs> and then when you lose all your marbles you just start playing bluegrass haywire is definitely a brent fuquay band and uh it's been a real it's been a real interesting experience for me because suddenly i'm playing traditional bluegrass music which i'm used to doing at winfield and some of the other festivals we do but as a day-to-day -day thing it's it's been a real indoctrination for me to go back and investigate a lot of this bluegrass material that's been out there that spontaneous combustion doesn't really dabble in. Maybe you've seen Leo's other group doing the style they've dubbed Blue Rock. Spontaneous combustion falls in the category of progressive bluegrass, pretty much the far end of the spectrum from the old-fashioned family band that Doug Elslow grew up a part of. I started with the violin back in school and I hung it up. I didn't like the music, so I quit playing for a few years. Mm -hmm. And I picked up the mandolin that Grandpa had laying around, an old round back and started playing when after Jeff started playing the banjo, my older brother. Carl and I years ago had talked about a band just like this and, and the style of music that we're trying to pro produce right now is, is a style of music that Carl and I have been really interested in a long time but back in those days like I said there wasn't people around like Doug and Leo and, and any number of other people that could you know pop in and play with Haywire. <laughs> I think maybe 
people relate to bluegrass more as a picking kind of music because of the popularity of dueling banjos and the Beverly Hillbillies and stuff. But, uh, and I think maybe takes uh, people that aren't used to bluegrass, it takes them a while to get used to that style of singing, maybe, in bluegrass that's kind of a little raw. Leo, our bass player, is a, an excellent baritone singer, and I'm doing the tenor part, and it seems to play in there real nice. The festival's three days of music, and the CD that will result from it, should give plenty of opportunity to get familiar with that high, lonesome sound and to catch some of the hotter bluegrass pickers who almost never show up in clubs. There's a lot of good musicians in Kansas City. When you, you get out and start seeing what's out there, it's, it's amazing that there's just that much talent in town here. Most of them don't even play in town that much. A lot of it will be Grandview and Raytown and Lee Summit. As the host band, Haywire, will open and close the festival, and likely play a few original tunes, like this one that Carl Anderton wrote for a national banjo competition. Carl's been my biggest uh, musical inspiration of all. I mean, he's taught me to play the guitar from the banjo in a lot of ways. He's shown me a lot of things over the years, and uh, I've always wanted him to write instrumentals and been on him to do it. That's one of those songs that just, it's, it's great. It really showcases all the different instruments. I, it was written as a banjo tune, but there's a lot of room in there for improvisation.